Does life really suck? No, it doesn't. And I'll tell you why. The new improved map of consciousness. How does it benefit one? Well, when you're on the road and you lost your way, before, you know, Google Maps, you had actual physical maps. Imagine a conceptualization of the different states of being, of uh, living, of happiness, of joy, of that spiritual connection to God, mapped out so that you can figure out where you're at and where you want to go. The point is, is that if you think life sucks, there are many things that in your life could get better by just figuring out a way how. Because the realization that you may come up with eventually is that everything comes from a spiritual level. A level of infinite consciousness, a level that sees all and knows all, a level once you realize what it is, is keeps one in integrity and happiness. And once you find that integrity and happiness, fears, uh, worries, anxieties, they melt away. So, what's the benefit of the map of consciousness? Is to study the human experience that we have in this physical body. But even it, it was even said in Star Wars, luminous beings we are, it was by Yoda. Not these frail, tiny bodies, you know? And it was Yoda that said, judge me by, by size, do you do? And he was completely right. Because he was able to lift up that airplane out of the swamp with the power of his mind. And it didn't matter the package that the mind came in, whether it was of a small stature or whether it's of a grand seven foot physique. So that's my video regarding the benefits of learning about and studying the maps of consciousness. The works that you want to read and learn about are the works by David R. Hawkins. David R. Hawkins was this cute little old man that studied all the different spiritual traditions, Christianity, the Eastern religions and things like this, it came to a really great spiritual contextualization of it. But him being a scientist, he had to put it down on a map. And he called it the map of consciousness. It goes from logarithmic level one to 1000, just so this way it could be conceptualized. And the levels of consciousness of the higher level beings that have existed on this earth, in, at least in physical forms, such as Jesus, Buddha, they're in those high levels, in the you know, thousand range, where that's the highest level that the body in its physicality can handle before transcending into, uh, I guess, a non-physical realm, or, or something along those lines. You know, where you know, great teachers and masters, they become a part of our level of consciousness. And because there are so many good people such as yourself right out there watching, that actually counterbalances all the you know, stuff we might see on CNN in the world. Um, so overall, I welcome you to study the works. There's plenty of free clips out there. David R. Hawkins, just type it in. Plenty of clips on YouTube. And you're going to see this man makes sense. So, 
All right, my friends, try the new and improved map of consciousness. Originally championed by David R. Hawkins. I think the website is veritaspub.com to get all the books. It's pretty good. I just ordered a new book from uh, the slides of the lectures of David Hawkins, so it should be pretty fun. I'm excited to see it. All right, my friends, you enjoy your day and uh, check out the map. It's really interesting. Talk soon. Bye.